This is it, the flying pine cone is back. If you're new to the series, Seregius is one of the beloved flagship monsters in the fourth generation. But let's cut to the chase. You're not here for some reaction. I'm about to share you the things that you could expect from this returning monster. We're gonna talk about is the Seregius armor good or bad? What about the weapons? What's the hunting experience going to be like? And lastly, what mass rank difficulty could Seregius be on? If you're into fast weapons with minimal sharpness level, you might want to check this out. Here's what the Seregius G rank, or should I say, Master rank armor set looks like. What do you think? Looks like a badass gladiator to me. Anyhow, if we use Generations Ultimate as a reference for Seregius armor set, it has these skills. It's an interesting combination of skills, but typically you'd want to mix this up with other armor sets depending on your weapon. Also, if you've noticed, Blade Scale Hone is a special skill of Seregius. Basically, if you evade while your weapon is drawn out, you can restore a few units of sharpness. Also, don't worry if you see a lack of skills in here. This is the old generation. I'm quite sure they'll add a lot more than that in Sunbreak. For the weapons, if you're curious about Seregius weapons, I've got some good news for you. In the old generation, Seregius has every weapon for every weapon type. Also, most of Seregius weapons are definitely strong. Seregius weapons are averaging at 280 raw to 310 raw. It has long white sharpness levels and some purple sharpness once the weapon's been maxed out, some of Seregius weapons ranges around 10 to 25% positive affinity. Not only that, but Seregius weapons has a special ability similar to the armor set that it can auto sharpen itself after evading a few times. It's really amazing how we got Seregius in Sunbreak. Seregius is a tough monster to hunt back in the old generation. As you've seen from the video, it's super agile, glides in the air at ease some of its attacks can cause you to bleed, which forces you to stay still, or your health would start to drain. One of the ways that you can stop the bleeding effect is number one, you could stay still and crouch your character, or before sunbreak, you could stack up on sushi fish and bring this during your hunts. Don't go just yet because there's another monster that could also cause you to bleed. But before that, what I'm predicting here is I think we're going to face Seregios in either Master Rank 3 or 4 based on my experience in Generations Ultimate. Wow. Now, we are getting a lot of difficult monsters in this lineup. Okay, going back to that another monster that can cause you to bleed, that's Shogun Cyanotar. In fact, I do have a video explaining how Shogun Cyanotar could help us in the early stages of our master rank. Hope this helps. Peace.